Hernandez basically unfortunately had something called Guillain-Barre, which is a neurologic uh, issue that has a lot of weakness. Uh, unfortunately, he also had to have a feeding tube to get an alternate means of uh, feeding. So he came here very weak, not able to stand much, and he had his family here, his two daughters and his sons and his wife who were always here. Um, so it was just really comforting to see that his family was working just as hard as us um, to help give him, uh, get him better. So after he was uh, intubated for a long time, he was transferred here, which was amazing because he has progressed a lot. When he first came, Mr. Hernandez had no uh, trunk control. He couldn't even sit at the edge of the bed, so we decided to try the Sera Combalizer with him. From there, we decided to put him in the Arjo Walker. So he was doing that with us, and just slowly everything just came together. He started walking in the parallel bars, and now he's walking with a walker. Things just started happening. Every single day was something new. No, yo estoy muy contento de de que me hayan transferido para acá. Aquí hay muy buenas personas. Si no fuera por ellos, la terapia no, no estuviera aquí como estoy ahora. En solo tres semanas me, me he recuperado. Que ya estoy hasta caminando de poquito a poquito. Yo nunca pensé que de que yo fuera a lograr esto en tan poco tiempo. Yo me miraba y yo decía que yo no podía volver a caminar. O... So, tú sabes. Yo por poco me muero. Yo estuve como 15 días que yo no sé nada. Vaya, yo no... Yo no me enteraba de nada de lo que me pasaba. I would like to play with him again. Because we used to play like funny games and he used to be happy like that and I also used to be happy. To see someone who wasn't walking, now walking, who was eat, using a peg tube, not, not needing that, able to do a lot more, seeing his family get more encouraged and himself getting more encouraged, just warms my heart. It just, it's a testament to the team here and more, more importantly, a testament to the patient and their family and how hard they've worked. When he was in the ICU back in the other hospital, I couldn't even look at him. I got really scared and um, You know, it hurts seeing him like that. <laughs> but he got better in the end. And for that, I am really proud. <laughs> and I'm really thankful for all the people who helped him. He's the best dad. I don't know what to say. <laughs> He's the best dad in the world. I love him so much. <laughs> we work together really well for these patients. And these patients mean everything to us, everything to us. So this is exactly why we love what we do and this is exactly why we chose this profession as the rehab doctors, nurses, as therapists, occupational therapists, physical therapists, speech therapists, for stories like this. Grateful, uh, I'm happy. It's a good team. Beautiful team. I'm happy. I am grateful. Like, really, really. <laughs>